Right. Thank you. Thank you. We had a hell of a squirt come through. Uh, easily in the 60s, white water everywhere, and we had we had uh, the boat next door to us leaning on us so hard that uh, when he went down, went sideways, uh, his he popped our fenders up on top, and so we were actually not crashing together. We we're actually touching. Not badly, we'll assess the damage tomorrow, can't do it today. Um, we're supposed to have a gap like that, that's between us and our next door neighbour, but this guy here, his lines are so, his lines are so slack that he's leaning on us and those fenders popped out and so we were touching hull to hull. I asked the marina staff to do that for us and we both joked that that can't happen at the moment because it's still a bit, little bit breezy. Not as much as before, but still a little bit. I'm going to show you what else the uh, the gust has done to this marina. I won't be a sec. All good. guy looks like he's taken on a bit of ballast. He wasn't like that an hour ago. Uh, so something's happened to him. This boat here broke away. Uh, they've had to put extra lines on her. She broke away from her moorings. See it? Look what the gust did. She's a lovely boat. She's on her ear. Oh, flip. The mast next door's come down too. Oh, crap. I told you she was windy guys how are you uh, we, we survived that's good yeah. See, at the end of G3 we were good yeah, the guys lines were a little bit loose we rubbed but I was on board thank you bye that was the director of the marina asking if we were okay and if we needed any help. That was lovely of him. I reckon all these big fellas, they would have taken a bit of a blow, but I reckon that uh, their lines are so strong, they probably would have been okay. Doesn't look to be too much damage up this end. But there's another boat that's over on its side. right off now compared to what it was but look at the storm surge the water the water is nowhere near that height normally this is just what the storm surge is doing uh, more bimini's ripped off sails flogging all in all though the marina came up tops for considering the, the squalls that came through, the damage is near, it hurts to those that were damaged, but the damage is actually quite minimal on the whole, other than that poor boat that's rolled over and broken the mast of the boat, go, boat next door when she's rolled over. Would have been a scary moment, but she's overflowing. Now, 
Wow. I reckon the waves are crashing in against the beach. Here am I. Here am I walking in salt water. Look at it. This could trip my electricity. That'll be a bugger because I want to have a shower. Well, they're going to use the fork to tie her down. He's cracking me in here. I'll lower it. Oh, okay. Oh my lord, she's old. I don't know whether you can see this, but she's old. Poor girl. things must have gone on. Search and rescue vessels are just being dispatched. I don't know where they're off to. Uh, but there goes one search and rescue vessel and there's another one. So I don't know where they're off to. Police are now boarding their boats. Our marina guys are working hard. Each finger has got their own marina guys. Uh, our marina guys just here for looking after us. Wow. What a blast that was. now we've just got to worry about the storm surge coming up and over the marina what that does to all of our lines puts a lot of pressure on if this makes it through to editing I'm gonna say sorry for the quality of the video I'm walking and I had to use our waterproof gear instead of our stabilization gear so I apologize for the jerkiness of the image Maybe I need a better camera. Any volunteers to help send one over? You'll see a line from there to there to hold him off. They've had to put one from there to there to hold him off because the breeze came from that direction. The last big gust, southwester. Anyway, folks, that's it. I'm jumping back aboard and uh, gonna get dry, I hope. Honey, I'm home. There's no electricity. Look at the debris, it's been washed up from that storm. The other two search and rescue vessels that were deployed a little while ago and all this area, all this area here is all customs uh, immigration so I can't go any further but I would suggest that probably a boat has fallen over off the hard stand over there and that's why the, the team are over there. Just for interest, uh, you'll see the Navy ships in. This is our Navy base for the Montenegrin Navy. Right. Oh, lenses are a bit wet. Hope that fixed it. You see those guys over there walking? That's a boat lying up the side. The marina staff there. 
He's getting it. That's the rope locker. He's actually getting spare lines out uh, now to replace those that have been broken. There's been a lot of a lot of issues up and down this part. Uh, the storm came through from that away, and so a lot of those boats are banged up against the uh, the jetty, and so they're putting new lines on over there. And wow, blue sky, wow. You can see. There's a yacht angled yacht mast there. The yacht alongside it, its mast is broken, lying on the side. I'll get see if I can get onto the beach to get some video. Boys using acro props to, to pop this one up. So he does. Ten points to the marina guys. They have done a fantastic job stabilizing everything, uh, working on all the damage, getting boats. They really are looking after all of the boats beautifully. Well done, Bar Marina. Well done. Look, we're flooding right up where we are. Where we are. can't do anything for these boats if I release the lines they'll pop up they chances are they'll come onto the hard which would be worse I think glad I wore my thongs These blocks here, these are all brand new, just been made. Uh, they are the blocks that secure us to at the marina. These are underwater and our lines are fed from there and there that go up to our bow. Uh, they're replacing all of them here in the marina. Uh, they're all going to brand new. Entrance to entrance to one of the marina fingers remember when I said before during the storm there was damage to boats over here look what the marina boys have done they've gone and had to have put lines out here to stop those boats from banging against the jetty. You wouldn't want to be a boat coming in to harbour now. Not with all these lines, beautiful new lines too. These marina guys have done a fantastic job. Hats off to them. So this is the normal level of the marina. So you can see how big the storm surge was that came through where these boats were, this one in particular was up on its nose. So this is the normal height of the marina. This is two days later. So it's a big difference. 